Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is the final episode, episode 21 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this and please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Here we are folks, the very last video of the Fokker build. It's going to be a bit longer than normal as I couldn't fit it into two episodes. So let's start with fitting the aileron control horns. These should have been fitted to the ailerons themselves earlier, but I felt I'd break them off, so I decided to do them at this late stage. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing one last time on this little fucker and crack on! There we have the control horns in place and glued. Now for the rigging lines to go in. There we go, the control lines, not the rigging lines, are now in place. Now for a quick coat of Alclad's stainless steel on those control lines. That's all the control and rigging lines painted. Now to try and fix this damn rigging line once and for all. It's been a complete arse. Finally, got you, you bastard. Now to finish off the rigging line painting. And there we have that all sorted. Next we can get rid of the tape holding the top wing in place. Then we're going to move on to fitting the rear grab handles and the mounting step. So let's crack on with those. There we have those glued in place. Very, very fine bits of detail these are. I wonder how many times I'm going to knock them off. Anywho, time to put a matte coat down. I'm using Vallejo's matte varnish here. Going, 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 fucking gone. Bucker, bollocks, fucking soapy tits. What a cock rumbling twat spangle I am. I just got up and walked away from the model at this point and left it for a day or so. Then came back to it and fixed it. I also fixed the mounting step at the same time, which I just knocked off too. Oh, happy days. Let's get this lot fixed. Thank you. 
there we go there's that little disaster sorted it had to be the rudder didn't it anywho let's get the grab handles and mountain step painted shall we we're using Tamiya's metallic grey XF56 so let's crack on with that There you go, that's the handles and step painted. Next we're going to be gluing a small square of copper sheet onto where the two rigging lines for the front cabane struts cross. So let's get that sorted shall we? That's that fixed in place. Now, using Tamiya's Rubber Black XF85, let's get that part painted and also tidy up the spandos as they're looking a bit worse for handling. There we have that done. The guns had also gone pointing off in wrong directions, again, so we glued those back in place. Now to knock back the decals, we're using 3600 micro mesh to do this. Here we go. There we go, that's the decals knocked back. Now we've done that, it's time to give them a coat of the Leo Mac varnish and hopefully keep the model in one piece this time. Here we go. There we are with that matte coat done. I only use a thin coat, just enough to knock back the gloss. The reason for this is whenever you look at the vast majority of aircraft, they have a slight shine to them. As I said, there are the exceptions to this, but not many. And also with doing a fine coat, it stops getting that horrible white colour to it. Anywho, on with gluing the prop on. I know we're near the end when we do this, so let's get it done. There we go, that's the prop glued into place. Now time for a bit of weathering powder. As usual, I'm using my pastel chalks for this. I'm going to do the exhaust with black, then a bit of brown in the middle of it, the wheels with the brown, and then the smoke from the spandos. So here we go, home stretch. There we go, that's that little Fokker finished. We can pop that away until we're ready for the glamour and money shots. 
Now we're moving on to the base. As usual, I'm using a deep box frame that I picked up from Hobbycraft. I got this for a couple of quid. The first thing to do is glue the riser to the front of the backing plate. Here I'm using Loctite's 60 second glue, then clamp it. Here we go. There we go, that's the riser glued in place. This allows me to hang it on the wall if I want to. So this little fucker is going to be sat on a wood plank hard standing. So for that, I'm using coffee stirrers. I picked these little lot up from Amazon, a thousand for about a fiver. I'm gonna cut them down to size eventually, but first I'll take the ends off. Then once I've done that, cut them to the length I need. I'm going to need an absolute shit ton of these and I'm using my RP tools cutter. Here we go. So there we have all the ends chopped off. The next stage is to cut them down to length. With the offcuts, I'm putting them in a container and later I'll use them in my coffee grinder to make wood chips out of them. Tight fisted I know, but needs must, etc, etc. Some time later, there we have them all done. Now to glue them into place. For this, I'm using Gorilla's wood glue. So here we go with that.
Okay, now that's done, we can leave it overnight to dry. Once it's dry, we can get a pair of snips and trim the edges down, just like this. When doing this, please wear eye protection as those sticks go flying all over the shop. Don't worry, none of them will be wasted. They'll all go in the coffee grinder once I find them all. There we have the base all neatly trimmed. I also needed to glue some of the planks back down and then add a couple at the edges where they've fallen off. Now it's time to give those planks a good old rough up. We're using a wire brush here so let's crack on. There we have that done. Give it a quick sweep with a large makeup brush. Next we're on to staining the planks. Personally I feel that the results are a lot better than painting them. Just my preference. Also it's a lot quicker. I use two different dyes. The first is American Walnut. Then I'm going to use Jacobean Dark Oak on selective planks just to give some tonal variation. So, let's get this sorted. There we have the planks done. Lots of tonal variation in there. I've already sealed these parts of the board. Now I'm going to make up my own plaster mix. I'm using my ground scatter, all purpose general filler, some sand from the beach, deionized water, which stops mildew and horrid growth, and then finally some brown and yellow ochre paints for the color. So let's crack on and get these done. There's the mix ready. Now let's get it lathered all over. But first I'm going to tape the edges to stop any overspill. So here we go with both of those.
Right, we'll leave that in the house overnight to dry. Now, here we are, it's nice and dry. Now for a black, brown, homebrew wash. Here we go. There we go, that's the wash done. Looking pretty good, even if I say so myself. Next, we have the static grass. I've got several different types, spring and summer, of various lengths, ranging from two mil to 10 mil, most homemade. So, I'm going to start with clumps between the planks, then I'm gonna move on to the corners. So, here we go with those two. So there we have the base finished. Now it's time for the glamour shots. Here they are.
Right, there we have it folks, over 60 hours of build video, 21 episodes and we have completed the Meng 124th Fokker DR1. Thank you very much for sticking with me on this, I really hope you liked the video as much as I did building the kit and doing the videos. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment, ring my bell. Look out for the next video coming out next week, so remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.